Hello, this is lesson 3.4, rounding decimals. Our essential guiding question is, how does place value help you round numbers? Uh, so we're going to be naming place values and rounding numbers to certain place values. Uh, and so if the lesson seems difficult for you, it's probably because you haven't spent enough time memorizing the place value names. I would suggest uh, going ahead and, and doing that or getting yourself a place value chart before you begin. Uh, at the end of this lesson, you should be able to round numbers with decimals, and I'm going to show you the process for doing that, but first we have some notes. So uh, take a moment and write down the notes for uh, the lesson. Underneath the notes, there's an example, and so we're going to do an example of what to do uh, for the first part, like where do I start? Circle the digit you're rounding, so it's here is the five is underlined, uh, and so I'm going to circle that, but I'm going to use a highlighter to circle it. Then it says, and the digit to the right. So I'm going to circle both of those with the highlighter. I'm just going to highlight both of those. <clears throat> and that's going to be the key part of this lesson, finding the place you're rounding to, and then including the one on the right. All right, and then uh, if you see the nearest whole number, you're rounding to the ones place. In this one, it's not nearest whole number because uh, we're rounding to the tenths place. But the trick here is, can you see this as 56? Not 5, 6, it's 56. The 6 uh, and the 5 go together. And is that 56 closer to 60 or is it closer to 50? And if you can do that, uh, you're going to have a, a really good uh, time with this lesson. All right, so here's an example, and this is an, an example from our book, and it says rounding to the nearest whole number, and here's that phrase, rounding to the nearest whole number. Uh, and for that, we're going to identify the ones place as the whole number. All right, so the first thing we do, according to the notes, is circle the place we're rounding to. Okay, we're rounding to the whole numbers here. Uh, and then we're gonna circle this other one here to include that in there. So circle the place value you're rounding to and then circle it to the right or uh, include your circle with the number on the right. Then the next step would be figuring out if this is says 18 within the, um, within the highlight, you have to figure out is 18 closer to 20 or is it closer to 10? And you should have in your mind said, yeah, that's closer to 20. And when you know it's closer to 20, you write down 20 right beneath it. All right, and then everything that comes before the highlighted part, you just copy down, so it goes 120. And then after the highlighted part, just gets zeros. All right, so we've changed the number here. Let me I'll get a different color right here and said it's 20. 18 rounds to 20, and then copy down before and then zeros afterwards. And then don't forget to put the decimal in. So what is this rounded to the nearest whole number? It's 12, or 12.000. Remember, graph paper is going to keep you organized. It will allow you to write the place values right on top of the other ones. All right, so let's get into the, the book work. In uh, each of these answers, you're going to have to write the place value, so you have to name it, what it's the place value of the underlined digit, and then round each number to the place so let's first name the place values. So again, it's ones here, there's the decimal, then tenths, and then it's in the hundredths place. And so we'll name that, it's in hundred, with a f on it, hundredths place. Uh, and then we have to round each number. And when you round the numbers, this is the time to put uh, these numbers on your graph paper. So it goes 0 0.673. And with our highlighter now, we're going to highlight the place that's underlined, the 7, and then the place that's next to it or to the right of it. Uh, and so it's 7, 3. And then in our minds, we think, is 73 closer to the next highest 10, which would be 80, or is it closer to the lower 10, which is 70? Uh, and so you can write yourself a little um, chart here. And 70, 71, 72, 73 is pretty close. It's only one, two, three steps away from 70. And it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven steps away from 83. So what's it closer to? It's closer to the 70. And so below that, I write the 70. And then everything that comes before your highlighted part, you just copy it down exactly as it was before. So 0 
And so 0 0.673 rounded to the hundredths place is 0 0.670. 670. All right, now we're ready for uh, the second one. This one is uh, rounded to, or the underlying digits in what place value? So here we have the ones, and next to the decimal we have the tenths, and that's underlined, so that is the tenths place. Uh, and then we're going to round it. So let's go down to our um, graph paper, write in the number 4.282, just make sure you write it in correctly. And with the highlighter now, we're going to highlight the place we're rounding to and the number to the right. So it's 28 is what we're seeing there. The 28 is closer to 30 than it is to 20. It's only two away from 30. And so we're going to change that to 30 and then copy down exactly everything before the decimal, I mean before the highlighted section. Then everything after the highlighted section, we're going to turn it into a zero. And so what is 4.282 uh, rounded to the tenths? It's 4.300. And if you wanted to chop off those zeros uh, to be a precise mathematician, uh, you can just chop them off. So 4.3 is the correct answer to that. I just leave them on there because um, uh, it, it just helps us remember that everything after the, the highlighted section, you, you write down the zeros. All right, last one. Now we're in uh, naming the place value. You have 12.917, um, and then just to the left of the decimal is the ones place, and so we're rounding to the ones place. Going down to the graph paper now, 12.917. Uh, and with our highlighter, we're going to say, all right, we're going for the ones place here. We're going to round to the ones place. So I'll, round, or I'll highlight the ones place and the place next to it, which is uh, the tenths place. Uh, and then figuring out the two that I ha highlighted, is it closer to the next highest 10 or is it closer to the next lowest? So 29 is very close to 30. And so I'm going to change that to 30, everything below or before the uh, highlighted section is um, copy down exactly, don't forget your decimal, and then after the highlighted section is just zeros. And so 12.917 rounded to the ones place is 13 or 13.000. Either answer is correct. All right, the last section that we have to do is that we just have to name the place value to which each number was rounded. Uh, and in this, it seems very difficult, right? You're like, well, how do I know where it's rounded to if there's no underlined? Well, this one we're going to look at the answer now. It was rounded to 0 0.98 and put our own underline underneath it. It ends in, the, um, in this place value right there. Oh, that didn't look good. All right, it ends in that place value right there, which means it ends in the, uh, not the tenths place, it ends in the hundredths place. So we must have been rounding it to the hundredths place. So for this one, you really just have to say or find out what it was rounded to and name the last place value in there. So I'm sure that was rounded. Yeah, that was rounded to the hundreds place. All right, next one, 4.6, excuse me, 3.695. It was rounded to four. That four is in what place? It's in the ones place, right? So uh, it was rounded to the ones. And then the last one, 7.486 was rounded to 7.5. And looking at what it was rounded to and figuring out what's the last place value on that, uh, 7.5, last place value is the tenths place. And there you have it. Our task for today uh, is out of the student workbook, page 119, and we're doing problems 7 through 18 and you'll see most of the same type of problems that we uh, just practiced on this video. All right, good luck, everybody.